this club I think is is my supreme being. This is a Gene Bolden design <laughs> from 1923. I had the raw head, a raw turning from McGregor. I put my own shaft in here and there were other McGregor clubs that had an insert so I decided I would put an insert in this club. The head was molded by General Electric. It was one of the first composite heads that came out. Was that a very successful club? It wasn't very successful because nobody would play. I mean, metal shafts weren't successful when they first came out because the older players couldn't take their knife and whittle the shaft to make it fit their swing. The Cleveland Classic, it's copied out of 1958. The McGregor M85, which was probably one of the more famous McGregor drivers that they had. Mm -hmm. See, those clubs have bulging roll on them, and they bulge. You've got to, if you hit it at the bottom, you might, might be about nine. If you hit it in the middle, it might be 10. You hit it up the top, you might be 11. Mm -hmm. Say, I know you've had a persimmon in your hand. Yeah, I miss them. That's mm -hmm. what you can do with persimmon right there. See mm -hmm. that? That driver was the TaylorMade Burnett. This is probably about the second edition or third edition of the TaylorMade. It was something that with weekenders that was sold, you can't slice it, you can't fade it, you're going to hit it straight there, and that is no such club in the world that that would happen. This is the new TaylorMade R9, the most advanced driver on the market. It's got movable weight technology, so we can control shot shape. We can adjust the face angle on this driver as well to modify either launch conditions or shot shape. Back in the 50s and 60s, they would shave the face down to get the different face angles. This is what he would play normally? Yeah, so this is his fitted. Did you see what happened here when he got a, a cl his club versus, you know, with the right loft, the right shaft? It was like, I mean, I wouldn't believe it'd be that big a difference, but it was, was like 20, like he said, 25, 30 yards difference with between that tailor made which had too much loft for him and the one he just hit. You've got all the data in from that test that we made of clubs of different eras. What did you find out? I want to look at the differences as far as distance in today's technology and then accuracy. There was a 26 percent increase in distance. With a hickory if I were to hit it 200 with today's fitted technology I'd hit it what 252. Yeah part of that is the technology as far as the head, the material that's made out of the titanium, the size of it at 460. Graphite was introduced into it. The clubs got a little longer, lighter. That all was part of the big distance gain that we saw. Part of the distance was the decrease in spin that we saw too with the golf ball. Yeah. That came down 41 percent. And I thought a lot of that spin thing might be due to the ball itself, but it looks like a lot of it was just, you know, obviously we're using the same ball for the whole yeah. test, and so it had to be just the club itself was generating all that much less spin. The accuracy as we went from persimmon to steel to titanium, that was about a 34 percent tighter dispersion when we got to titanium. But the key things that we pulled out of this was as we started to move along in time with all these different clubs, we saw little increases in performance. Once we got into quality persimmon and the first stainless, we kind of started to get flat. For some of our players, they actually were better off with the persimmon than they were the first steel. And then once we jumped into to titanium, that's when we saw the biggest jump in distance and dispersion. That's when everything started to explode. And then the last part of this test that we did is we had all the players come back in with their fitted drivers and compared fitted numbers to today's R9 or the Hickory and it spiked again on us. I mean there was a big difference from a fitted driver to just today's technology. Yeah, I was kind of surprised by that when I saw that. I mean I, I thought there'd be some difference but you know like with Scott, Scott it was huge. Yeah. Perfect example. Yeah. Great to see Gene out here again. You know, we're just so lucky to have him around. I just love talking to him. He, he knows so much about clubs.